I wanted to be in the major leagues, and the quickest way for me to do that as a pitcher was going to be, hey, you know what, I'm going to do that, you know, through the Giants. So, you know, signed and came out here in Arizona and kind of got hit in the face pretty quick. Here I am, 17, jumping in with you guys. You guys got three years, kind of done some things that I've never done. I mean, the biggest things for me, I was trying to throw strikes. So I was out of my element is what I'm saying is here I am going out there and, and trying to blow up the radar gun, and it's not, not benefiting me all at all. And I'm... I'm I was going backwards and it was hard, but it was good for me because I had to do that myself. There's going to be a point in your career where you might hit a couple walls and you got to find a way to get through them, you know, and that's going to dictate whether you get to the AAA major league level or, if you, you know, in life you're going, to, you're going to hit these walls. My goal was to get into the ninth inning, so it was like, all right, you know what, I was going to go find ways to push myself, you know, in between those days, and that was to run the stadium so I could. You know, as I started doing it, I'd be like, all right, you know what, I'm going to get to half of it just because I'd run the bottom of it and then run half of the top um, and then slowly try to push myself up with the next few starts. By the end of the first month, I wanted to be able to run the entire stadium in those, you know, 30 minutes were good for me because it was me by myself going out there, pushing myself mentally, but also I got into that mode where I could enjoy thinking about what I'd, I had done the day before or what I needed to do better. I tried to learn from everyone, you know, I tried to, to see whatever I could, as much as I could to, to, to pick from people. It, it can be tough when you've got so many people and it's hard to decipher what's going on. Sometimes it can be verbiage. You know, I had eight years of, of our bullpen coach tell me the same thing over here. He said, pick it up before you go. Eight years. And all he was telling me to do was like get balanced over the rubber. For some reason, I never asked him, man, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> But then, you know, but that was always my, that was always something that I battled with forever. But it was like he was saying it one way. And I never, I never, I never took the initiative to be like, hey, man, like, what do you mean by this? It was, it's as it, tough as it can be, it, you stay on a routine. And as monotonous as it is, that's how you get better. I got to A ball in San Jose. My first start out I was kind of thinking I was the man. Go out there and get shelled in four innings. All right, here we go again. You know, I got to figure this out. But it was like I know members sit there and, and talking to our, our my pitching coach Trevor Wilson is like, hey, like I don't want to be here. And he's like, all right, well get yourself out of here. Like, do something to get yourself out of here. And he's like, I'll go run with you. I'll go do whatever you need to do. So I started getting with him. I started working. I started getting on a routine, and it was a little routine. But I got I, ended, I remember I ended up getting out of that routine the second half of the year when I got to where I wanted to be in Double A. Because I was kind of like, all right, I made it where I need to go. Now I can just take it easy. But it's like learning how to kind of stay in that cycle. There's there's times where the minor the, the big leagues can be a little bit bland because you almost feel like you're not supposed to do anything. Because if you are having fun and the team's losing, well, wait a minute, what's going on? But it's you got to find ways to keep it loose. You're gonna have you're gonna have bad parts of the year. It's part of it. But all the years that we won, it was it was mainly because we did. We enjoyed each other. We had fun. We had guys that were able to push guys uh, that needed to be pushed, and then we, we, we all held each other accountable. I don't think I would have done what I did if I didn't have guys like Timmy to push me because it was. I was always like, man, that guy is just, it's ridiculous how good he is, you know? But I'm going to find ways to try to be better than him. It was guys like that, like, hey, man, you could push yourself to another level and be all right with it. As long as you know that you're pushing yourself to that limit and as close to it, then I think you're doing the right thing that you need to do.